Hey guys, it's Tom here with MYT Solar. We finished up on a 270 RKS. This is a 2017 floor plan that I don't believe they make anymore for Outdoors RV. We're gonna to explain to you guys how this guy is gonna have 3,500 watts coming into his battery bank on a 270 RKS. Let's check it out. This customer is actually a return customer. Their other rig is a 280 KVS, which we're kind of having a hard time seeing the difference really in the floor plans, but Basically, this is one of the outdoors RVs with the east to west bed. The bed is in a slide. A normal install, putting everything under the bed, the inverter, the batteries, everything nicely tucked away under the bed, obviously isn't possible with so much movement. No way to manage all that cable that has to come to and from the system. The inverter here in the pass-through is a multi-plus two, a two times 120 because this is a 50 amp rig with two legs of 120 volt. Victron system, Link Smart BMS, distributor, servo, all those goodies. The Multi Plus 2 inverter charger, and we have on the roof 2,500 watts of solar. I know I said that there would be 3,500 watts of solar for this customer. I'll explain that in a second. Let's go check out the bed. Ta da! Again, a bed with the drawers and the compartment, but this whole thing moves in and out. If you ever look underneath your slide, you'll see the way that manufacturers manage cable with a bit of a wire trace that slides in and out of the slide. That might be fine for a little bit of 120 and maybe some 12 volt stuff, but for the big heavy cable and all of the cables that we have to do on our installs, that's just not really an option. Luckily in these KVSs or this RKS with the bed this way, we've got this nice little hamper here. Now, I don't know that I told you, but this customer, their other trailer is a 280 KVS. And so they're a return customer. They bought a new 280 KVS some point in the last few years and we did a big install for them. That's a 24 volt system that we did for them with 2400 watts. They wanted the exact same system. It's been performing so well for them. They have it up on their mountain property and they say every day by about 12 o'clock they're back to 100% battery. It's working perfectly as an off-grid machine for them. They wanted the same install. Unfortunately, those Victron 24 volt batteries are on back order. They have been for quite some time. We used the 12 volt batteries and then we put them in here. We modified this hamper a little bit just to give it a little bit extra depth this way so that we could fit three of the 330s in. We couldn't obviously fit a fourth, but it was nice to get at least the batteries inside in this temperature controlled environment, tucked away in this hamper where it blends in seamlessly they're strapped down, they're in a small compartment. Um, we're really happy with those batteries there and then obviously the cable coming through to the wall to the inverter and the rest of the system. Now, the 3,500 watts. We have 2,500 watts on the roof. That is with rich 250 watt panels. We ran a second set of cable down as well as the factory cable. We have 1,250 watts on each string coming to two separate charge controllers. Now the other 1,000 watts let me show you something in the pass-through. What the customer decided to do was to get this rig set up the same as his other rig that he's previously had at his mountain, but the rig that he has on the mountain is gonna become his traveling rig because it has the auto level, it's a little newer, it's a little more road ready, and then this rig is gonna basically be his cabin up at the mountain for six months out of the year. Because his last rig came with a thousand watts of factory solar from Outdoors RV, we removed those thousand watts of solar panels. He has those up at his mountain, he's been using them on the ground. What that means in the bay here is we actually have three solar charge controllers. So we have two 100 amp charge controllers for his roof panels, and then over on the side there, we have another 70 amp charge controller for his thousand watts of solar that he has on the ground. And obviously not using the ZAMP port. Obviously that's a completely different system. It's actually not really active in our systems. It can only handle a few watts. Under here, right here, if you can see it Al, we actually have our Anderson connector for his uh, thousand watts of panels that he puts on the ground. That's why he has 3,500 watts. And because this trailer is gonna frequently be up at that property, it just makes a lot of sense. But yeah, really happy with this. He'll, he'll be stoked. Technically, last time he had a little more amp hour capacity, but with his batteries getting back to 80% each day, he's got a little more solar on the roof here, 2,500 watts. He's still got the thousand on the ground and he's gonna be happy camper. Here we are, we have this 2,500 watts up here. 
nice big stretch of rail on each side of the roof. Plenty of room to walk around. Uh, five panels in series, five panels in series. Because we have two different, completely different arrays, we have some, some nice shade mitigation there. But also because we have five panels in series, we have a nice high voltage, which means we're gonna start charging earlier in the day, charge a little later in the day. And again, our rails get these panels a little more flat than traditional brackets would on this roof. Plenty of room to walk around. You can see he actually has the second air conditioner. There's just plenty of room. If I was up here, which I was, you know, after the solar got done, I was up here installing soft starts in both of these air conditioners. And there's just plenty of room on this roof to do maintenance. And by using the rails, we've actually pushed the panels away from the air conditioner. As the sun comes, it's gonna have to be pretty late in the day by the time this is casting a really good shadow on those panels. A little shade mitigation there as well. Uh, 2,500 watts, but the thousand you'll see on the ground when he's up at his mountain property. And really happy with this. I think he's gonna be stoked. This is MYT Solar with another build here on this Outdoors RV. Thanks for watching. Reach out if you'd like any questions or maybe want to get some solar done. Cheers.